Hi Piscean, welcome back to my channel. We're doing your next 48. This is episode 19 and 20 for my Piscean. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. Let's see what the messages are. Piscean, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. All right, please and thank you. What are the messages for my Pisces? Okay, let's see. Piscean, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. We have the Eight of Swords. Okay, so that, that seems to be trending. All right, kind of caught um, stuck between a rock and a hard place. This could be you or a Gemini. I'm getting this is not your energy, so it's a Gemini that's stuck. Okay, but the Eight of Swords is like they got themselves in this situation. It's not, I'm getting it's nothing to do with you. All right, let's see. We have the Princess of Cups. There you are, beautiful. And we have the, uh, the Wheel of Fortune. I'm getting somebody wants you to save them or somebody... Somebody got themselves in a bad situation. Now they're stuck and they're kind of looking at you for answers. Somebody wants you to come back. Somebody Now the will of fortune is somebody keeps repeating the same lessons over and over again. Somebody keeps doing the same shit and they kind of look to you for guidance or they kind of look to you for answers. Somebody wants you to rescue them or get them out of this once again. Okay, we have the tower, yeah, all of a sudden. We have the seven of wands, and then we have the sun card, yeah. Because it looks like somebody could have pushed you away, but it almost looks like somebody pushed you away. They didn't think you would actually leave, but you did, and now somebody is stuck on you, can't stop thinking about you, or they're stuck in a situation. I'm getting this. Now, if this is you, Pisces, it could be because you're very defensive, but the seven of wands in this deck to me, it's not about being defensive. Yes, it's about defending yourself, but it's about posture. It's about the way in which you defend yourself. It's how you speak. It's how you deliver deliver the argument itself because I'm getting your stance is perfect your posture is perfect okay the, the way that you distribute your passion is perfect so it's almost like you took you you stood up for yourself and now somebody is stuck because you did that because you set some type of boundary you set boundaries here and now someone's like damn what do I do what do I do what do I do how do I make them happier how do I turn this around yeah somebody's trying to figure out how to turn this around okay what is the eight of swords what is the Eight of Swords? Because I'm getting the way that you defend yourself. It's very poised. It's very soft. You don't get loud or it's just like you you set boundaries. You don't allow people to run over you or you, you know, you make shit known. What This is what I'm going to accept. This is what I'm not going to tolerate. Just period. Okay. But I'm getting you cause the wave or you cause the, uh, like a ripple. What's the Eight of Swords? Yeah, the nine of wands, <laughs> irritation. Somebody's irritated with you. This could be you. I'm getting it's a fire sign though. Someone's irritated with you because you keep setting boundaries or you keep, you keep the way that you defend yourself. It's, it's irritating. It's like, cause I'm, cause the nine of wands is like someone who's experienced. It's someone who's been beat up. But in this deck, it's like someone who's very prideful, someone who has their chest poked out, someone who knows what they want and they know how to get it. Okay. There's no need to argue. There's no need to, to get irate because it's like, there's no need for that. I know exactly what I need to say. I know exactly what I want and what I don't want and what I will not and will, what I will and will not tolerate and accept. I'm getting this is irritating someone. Your pride, your stance, your posture is irritating. It's it's almost like somebody is you just can't be beaten or you can't be defeated here or it's it's like hmm I'm, I'm getting somebody is trying to trap you or trying to somebody's trying to make you feel stuck, but you're like, no, I don't feel stuck. I you know, I feel fine. I'm I'm, I'm not going to accept that. I will not let you trap me or bow me into any situation. And that that's bothering someone because you won't just lay down because you won't just take what you get. Yeah, we have the two of cups. Okay, so I'm getting somebody's irritated by you because they like you. They may even be falling in love with you, maybe already be in love with you. But there's going to be some type of agreement here. Somebody wants to make amends, okay, for like the third time or maybe the sixth time, seventh time, whatever. The Wheel of Fortune represents cycles to me, something that keeps happening a whole year. Yeah, we have the Three of Cups. Yeah, reconciliation once again. This person, it's like, it's like you keep setting boundaries and this person, they just keep coming back because they know you're not going to put up with certain things. Yeah, so if you're worried about this, there, there is, you are going to be a conglomerate here or you are going to be in a business partnership or because we have two, two, two of cups, three of cups. But as you can see in this deck, there's a person missing. So I'm getting there's an agreement between you and somebody else, you and one other person. 
okay? There may be a third party involved, like maybe a bank or a job or an entity, but I'm getting the third party is not a person, it's a thing. I'm also getting too, like somebody gets back together with you just to put you back into a third party situation again. Like they just keep doing that shit. You guys break up again. Cause it's like, it's, you're like, no, I'm not going to be part of a fucking third party. I'm not going to be a polygamist. That's not my, that's not my thing. That's not me. That's not my, that's not my, that's not my style. Just period. Okay. Cause I'm getting like somebody keeps trying to talk you into this or somebody keeps trying to put you in a third party. You're like, no, break up again. I'm cool. Like, it's like, I'll break up with you seven fucking times. I'm not going to be in a third party, period, die. Getting somebody keeps trying to convince you of this or somebody keeps trying to trap you in a third party situation. Or you keep getting, you keep getting stuck with people who think like this. Okay, what's the tower? Because I'm getting you're dealing with someone who does not like when you set boundaries or tough shit. Oh, well. What's the tower card? What is the tower? Like somebody just wants you to take what, what they give you. Yeah, we have the nine of pentacles. Yeah, you're like, okay, it's fine. I'll be single. It's fine. I'll go somewhere else. It's fine. Okay, you know what? That's cool. It's fine. I'll just do something else. Yeah, it's like somebody somebody is surprised at how, how independent, how strong you are, how you refuse to be stuck. You refuse to be bound. You refuse to be tied to things that you don't want. Yeah, so I'm getting like somebody is, somebody is appalled at your strength, appalled at your independence, appalled at how well you take care of yourself. Like, wow, I can't believe... You turned me down. I can't believe you turned down my offer. Yeah. Yeah. What's the seven of wands? That's what I'm hearing. It's like, yeah, I don't need you. I can do, I'm fine by myself. So maybe somebody was not believing that you were going to be okay alone, but I'm getting you're just fine. Like you're good. You're golden. Okay. What's the seven of wands? Yeah, the world card. Yeah, you keep putting an end to something. You keep setting boundaries. I'm getting somebody wants to make up. Fine, that's great. Uh, third party, okay. I'm I'm broken up with you. That's I'm done. It's over. We're done. It's over. It's ended. Yeah, I'm getting you have no problems with leaving people. You have no problems with ending situations. You have no problem setting boundaries. If you don't want it, you don't want it. Okay, just period. If you're not gonna get what you want, you don't want this. All right, but I'm getting like yeah. All of a sudden, you're single again. All right, that's fine. Or all of a sudden this person is single because I'm getting you set a boundary. And that's okay. It's fine. Things end. People don't, people want you to take, people just want you to lay down and take it. But you're like, nope, here I am by myself again. It's okay. It's cool. It'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be, you'll be fine. What's the, what's the nine of pentacles, please? What's the nine of pentacles? I'm getting all of a sudden you're single once again. All right, let's see. Nine of pentacles. Because you were, you refuse to be somebody's doormat. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we have the queen, the king of swords. Yeah, I'm, I'm also getting two. It's the way in which you speak, the way that you articulate. Someone is shocked by the way that you speak or how much of how much that you know. It's like, how does this single woman know all this? Or how does this, how are you? It's almost like because somebody, I'm getting your looks are deceiving. Maybe you come off as being very naive or silly or goofy or young. But I'm getting if you are... It's like you're, you don't you don't look the way you act. I'm getting you're very independent. You're very articulate. Okay, you're very eloquent. You know shit. You're very informed. Because I'm getting like somebody thought that maybe that you were like a ditz or something. And you cut that shit short because it's like somebody underestimated you. What's the, what is the seven of wands in the world card? Somebody, somebody did, did not think you would end this or did not think that you would move on, but you did. It's nothing. Okay, what's the seven of wands in the world? What's the seven of wands in the world? It's almost like somebody thought you were like a damsel, a damsel in distress. Maybe you were, or I'm just getting like you're independent. You're okay with being by yourself. You're okay with doing for yourself. You have your own resources. You, you rely on yourself. I'm getting yourself made as well. And that was shocking too. Somebody was shocked to find out how much money you actually have or how much money you're making. Okay. What's the seven of wands? In the world card, seven of wands, the world card, please. Yeah, we have the princess. Yeah, somebody, I'm getting, I'm getting your intelligence could even be intimidating by this person because you set boundaries. And I'm, I'm getting you do it quick. You have, it's, it's like in a split second, like, nope, I'm not going to stand for that. I don't, nope. I'm getting like your, your, your intelligence, your intelligence exceeds this person's intelligence. Like somebody is not as articulate as you are. Somebody is not the best communicator. What's the page of swords? Because I'm getting you could be discussing money here or maybe discussing making some type of purchase. And it's like whatever somebody is saying to you, I'm getting somebody gets very defensive and they're very quick to end a situation because they don't know how to speak and articulate what they want to say. So they just get mad and end stuff. 
You're like, okay, that's fine. Yeah, because I'm getting something that just blows up. Somebody betrays your trust. But then somebody somebody comes back around. They feel guilty about it. And then they say, sorry. It's a tendency. The devil card. It's like, this is what somebody does. It's their, it's their tendency. It's their devil. It's their habit. Okay, but I'm getting your, I'm getting you're going to be fine. Turns out fine at the end. The sun card, it's going to be like better than fine. Golden, what's the nine of wands? But I'm getting your independence irritate someone or, you know, just, you know, period. You could be dealing with someone who's very old fashioned or someone who's a lot older than you are or they thought they were or someone who thought that they knew more than you, but they actually do not. They actually are a very poor communicator. Okay, what's the nine of wands? But I'm getting, you probably communicate for a living. This is what you do. It's like, I'm very, you, you seem to be very informed. And this person is surprised to know that. What's the nine of wands? Yeah, the five of wands. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm getting like somebody was trying to trap you. Somebody wants to argue with you. Somebody wants to bicker. Somebody wants to fight with you. But I'm getting... You just don't go there. You're like, no, I'm not going to fight. I'm just not going to. It's not worth the fight. Like, what are we fighting about? Like, someone does not know how to articulate or have an adult conversation without getting mad. Somebody can't control their anger. But I'm getting like somebody's trying to trap you. And they're mad because you can't be trapped or you cannot be seized. Or it's like you you know how to talk your way out of situations. You know how to, you're, you're an adult is what I'm getting here. <laughs> What's the two of cups? I'm getting some type of agreement or something is supposed to be made between you and somebody else or maybe you and two people. But it's almost like there's a lot of conflict or drama or bickering that is really unnecessary. But, it, but it's because somebody gets somebody is easily triggered. Somebody gets really mad very quickly about little shit. It's the way it's it's the way it's your speech. It's your tone. It's it's your, it's the it's your communication skills that throws them off. I'm getting it's too much for them. Like you communicate too much or you communicate, you're too eloquent. Your, your vocabulary is uh, defined or something like that. They, they can't handle the way that you speak or the way that you communicate. It irritates them. Oh, well. What's the two of cups, please? Yeah, the, okay, yeah. A lot of communication. Princess, Prince of Swords. It's almost like somebody wants to be the teacher. Somebody wants to teach you. Somebody wants you to be on the same on the same keel. But I'm getting you're not. Your your intelligence your intelligent your intelligence exceeds theirs. And I'm getting I'm getting it's very intimidating. Okay, sorry about that, Piscean. We're almost done here. Yeah, I, I saw that low power mode. So I'm getting like somebody is like just aggravated with you. Somebody is like, oh my god. <sighs> But I'm getting, I'm getting somebody still wants to put up with you, though. You irritate them because you're smart. You're intelligent. I'm getting you're too smart for your own good. But I'm also getting, too, it's like somebody wants you to be emotional when it's, it's not the right time for that. It's like, no. I'm getting you make, you make more so, it's like you make more so head over heart decisions and that bothers someone. Somebody expects you to be emotional and get caught up. And I'm getting you don't. You don't get caught up in the emotion. You know how to use your words. I'm getting a triangle. You could be a grand, a grand air trine or a grand trine. I'm getting someone who's a grand trine. It's, this shit is easy for you. It's nothing. What's the three of cups, please? The three of cups. Yeah, the two of wands. Yeah, one foot in, one foot out. Yeah, somebody can't make up their mind. But I'm getting you're walking through the threshold. Like somebody has already chosen you, but they, they have to figure out how to deal with you, how to deal with your, inte your intellect or the way that you communicate. I'm getting somebody, yeah, somebody is conf very confused or somebody gets confused by the way that you speak. So maybe, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting like somebody cannot match you intellectually here and it becomes a frustration. So maybe... The way that you speak is confusing, but I'm getting you, I'm getting you try to kill the confusion or you try to better understand someone or it's, it's like, it's like someone that someone tells you something and you, you repeat what they say back to them. It's like, okay, do I have you? Am I, is everything good? We're good. Right. But it's almost like they get confused by what you say, Pisces, and what you say, it seems it throws them off or it confuses them because I'm getting, you have a higher intelligence than someone. And it's like, you can understand them, but 
they can't understand you because of your intelligence level. So it's you may have to bring it down a notch or a couple notches or something like that. All right, what's the sun card? What is the sun? Because I'm, I'm, I'm dealing, you're, you're dealing with someone, they're not of the same intellectual caliber, or they're not, they're not as professional as you are, or something of that nature. What's the sun card? But things are going to be fine. They're going to turn out in your favor. Beautiful card to end with with the sun card. All right. But I'm getting like, you're very bright. You're vibrant. And this person, they're not as bright as you are. Okay, so I'm getting, you know, the Queen of Cups is showing up. We have the Three of Swords, the Four of Wands. Okay. Somebody is really under pressure here. Three of Swords, interesting. What is the Queen of Cups? I'm getting you need to be a little bit more maybe Piscean, compassionate understanding with this person because I I feel like you could come off a little bit not rigid but um a little bit little too intellectual or a little too brainy all right what is the queen of cups yeah the seven of cups yeah but I feel like when you get emotional you get confused I'm getting like somebody you could be dealing with a Scorpio like somebody is just they're very confusing and it could be because of Mercury's in retrograde. There's some type of, I don't know. It's like, there's a misunderstanding here. There's miscommunication. I'm getting you try to be compassionate, but it causes confusion. You try to be intellectual, but it causes confusion. I'm getting somebody is just confused by you. You are an enigma to someone Piscean. Yeah, we have the magician. All right, so this is taking action. You're gonna be fine, Eight of Pentacles. getting to somebody is going to admit to you that that you kind of confuse them or they just don't they don't understand you Piscean I just think they don't understand you just period all right this that's just what it is this person does not understand you they don't they're not on the same page yeah we have free yourself okay yeah so I'm getting I'm getting a situation there's a breakup here I'm getting you I'm getting you guys try to reconcile but it just turned into mush all over again. The communication is off and this person just does not understand where you're coming from. Okay, we have we have keep an open mind. Yeah, I'm getting they're going to be back though, deception. Now, they're not going to come out and just tell you this. I'm also getting to somebody was like keeping you in confusion or keeping you stuck by not telling you something. Yeah, we have let your friends help you, and this could be the one. Yeah, I'm getting somebody Somebody does not know how to communicate with you, Pisces, or someone does not know how to communicate effectively their feelings, their emotions, what they're trying to convey. It's hard for them. Getting it's easy for, easier for you, and it, it may take a lot of understanding here, okay? So I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.